I have toured many vehicles lived in by nomads on the road, both on and off camera, but I don't think I've seen any that have all the features that the van I'm touring today has. My goodness, from 700 watts of solar power to 300 amp hours of lithium batteries, a diesel heater, and so much more. So come on along with me and let's take a peek. I think you're going to be as impressed as I was by both the van and the owner. Well, hello, hello. Do you want to introduce yourself to my Globies? What's up? My name is Hunter. And Hunter, I see you are in a pretty cool van. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your van? Yeah, it's a, a 2017 Ram Promaster. I got it used with about 7,000 miles on it. It is the 2500 standard, standard length, not the short one and not the extended high top roof and yeah so you were you have kind of an interesting history you were in the military yeah well, I was but you sustained a pretty serious injury do you want to tell us what happened yeah I was in um, I was doing an obstacle obstacle course and it was really early in the morning about 3 or 4 a.m. and it was a little wet from dew and halfway through I, I fell off an obstacle and shattered uh, my L1, I think, like the top of my uh, lumbar. I had a, a burst fracture and broke a rib and stuff like that. I was hospitalized for a month and then in a brace for three months. So you, obviously, you couldn't return to your active duty military. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So a friend of yours, you said, built your van out for you. Yeah, uh, one of my one of my best friends that I was in uh, training with, we met in the very beginning. That that's some some friend. Now I'm looking at some of the features in your van. You're sitting in a swivel seat. Yeah, both of these are. So I see you have a f overhead frame here that you have your curtains attached to, and it looks like you've got like these little hooks underneath here. Yeah, this was actually really challenging to to make because of the custom shape. And this is actually slightly, this whole piece is slightly curved. And then it also has the speaker like cutouts. And then under here on top of this, we had to put wood. That way we could drill um, the, the, the rail up under there. And then this just slides out and then we have like embedded in the or whatever you call that it's up in the fabric and then there's magnets in here glued up so you have magnets inside the seam of the curtain yeah exactly and then magnets in the inside the frame yeah okay now I'm looking at this feature here that I think is one of my favorite features in your whole van you've got a skylight in here yeah oh my goodness what what gave you the idea to put a skylight in? Uh, mo mostly the natural light. Um, also, S Sam and I, as we were kind of discussing it, just wanted to do it like at the highest point of artistry mm -hmm. that we could. And we definitely felt like this was in included in that. Now, you were telling me, tell me about the beams again, what you did with the beams. Um, yeah, in order to have the, the skylight and as much solar, the that I wanted, which is about 700 watts. This needed to be in a specific location. Um, and it would have kind of threw that off to put it between that way the beams were naturally placed. So there was a beam running through the middle. We had to remove that, buy a new one, and then weld it in up over here. That way the support was still there. Um, and then we could have max maximize the solar. Space. Now you have a screen, two screens on there? Uh, yeah. And it, it kind of sits at a couple different positions too if you wanted to. So this is just like a bug screen if you don't want bugs to get in. And then it latches and you can just pull it like that and get a blackout screen. 
and they also move kind of independently. You just have so many features. Uh, it's unbelievable. Let's look over here at this table. I I'm just... This is epoxy in here? Yeah. Wow. And you did that both on this table, and I yeah. see you did it on your... Also over here. And then I'm looking over here. It looks like not only do you have your faucet, but then you've got a filtration system. Yeah. There's um, uh, it's a lot of the water filters are huge, but under here there's like three smaller water filters. Uh, it's like a, I don't know what they call it, like a three-stage water filtration. Okay, so I'm seeing that you have a beautiful epoxy table here, and then it goes all the way to the end, but the last part of the table lifts up, so you can have it as a counter. Or you can lift it up and you have your induction stove here. Yeah. Wow, that's very cool. So you just have a pin here that holds this up. Right. And then when you have it down, you just... It's it's kind of... It's invisible because of the hinges used. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called sauce hinges. There's another uh, guy that builds vans that uses them. I think his name is... Uh, Brandon Buckley. So you're not a solo male traveler because you have a companion, is that true? That is true. And who is your companion uh, here? My companion is my husky puppy. His name is Maku. And how old is Maku? He's about to turn six months. He looks like he is just enjoying van life is he a pretty good traveler yeah he loves it he loves being outside and constantly meeting new dogs and going to new dog beaches and dog parks now i see you're standing in your shower here yes I am. that is a that is a really big shower it comes all the way across the aisle in the van and then i see up above you have Oh wow, it extends all the way from the back wall out to the middle of the aisle. Yeah, right. There's a, a shower curtain that's fixed that just gets tied in the back here. Mm -hmm. Around like a magnetic uh, curtain tie. Okay. And then it just comes all the way around. And you have, I don't know, almost like double the shower size than if you didn't use the aisle. That's the first time I've seen a shower that big in a van this size. It is, it is really nice. And then your shower head looks really cool too. Yeah. It's, Can you pull um, that down? Yeah. Well, the. Yeah, it's a two parts. So this is the wand, which um, you can use, or you can use the, the head of it. Let me go in here. And you can use one or the other, or you can have both on. Wow, that looks like a fancy shower that you would see in a home. Right. And the hose is really long, so that could extend out the back door. Yeah. So you could take a shower outside and you have hot water going to it? Yeah, there's a hot water heater under the sink. Let's see. And how many gallon is your hot water heater? I believe it's two and a half. Okay. All right. So you were telling me about an extra special um, device that you have on here what is it and what does it do we have added an airbag suspension kit with an onboard compressor and it's two uh cylinder shaped airbags that have a very high load capacity that are placed in the in the back of the van and there's a gauge up here that lets you crank up the psi in the airbags and then you can uh this lets you deflate each one uh, if you have um, one side that's heavier for some reason, when we were doing the build, we balanced everything out. But um, I don't know if I ever, for some reason, had that or if I just want more air in the bags. It definitely, I notice a huge difference when I'm driving. And it's just like the smoothness of it, like each bump and crack in the road doesn't like rattle everything. It's It's a lot softer. So it's kind of like riding on air kind of is that what it's like or riding on a cushion i guess yeah compared it comparatively wow that's quite unique so i'm looking at your bed and that is really beautiful now you are six feet tall so that is comfortable for you 
Yes, it is. Uh, it's a good size. It's seventy inch, seventy eight inches long. Okay. Um, which is almost the length of a queen, and then it's, I think, uh, maybe like forty eight inches wide when it's all the way out, and okay. it comes all the way out to the the fridge. Okay, we'll and get it. This part pulls out into an out couch if you want to have that set up too. Yeah, I'll have you. We'll come back in a second and have you set that up. Wow, so you have like a lounge kind of when you have that pulled out. Yeah, it's really it's really nice. If I want to just sit down and work on something, I can switch uh, seating posi positions. Or if I'm uh, working with somebody else, it's it's very comfortable. So then, when you do the bed mode, what do you do to make it into the bed? Um, this just pulls out all the way, and then this, oh, okay, yeah, these just slide over. This one slides out and then you tilt that one back like that. Wow, so you've got a very... Now, how thick is your foam on there? Uh, five inches in total. Okay. It's, um, we got it from a custom shop that does foam and there's three, inch of it, three inches of a higher density foam and then a softer, plusher one uh, that's two inches on top of that. And so then got it custom upholstered in this fabric I found that was a cool pattern. So you have just all kinds of special luxurious touches in here. Yeah. What was it that made you want to make it so custom and so just... That's just the way I am. Okay. Yeah. So I understand that you are involved in music and in fact you were telling me that you studied music on the GI Bill in college. Right, yeah. And you are... So what area of music are you involved in? I'm mostly a writer, like a singer-songwriter with a predominant rap style. So that's your plans um, for the future? Yeah, I'm uh, also looking at exploring production a little bit. I'm really big into dance music, which would probably be less of a, a career move for me and more of a, something that I enjoy doing and just understanding a little bit more about how that music's made. So now, are you going to continue van life when you go back to school for to study music again? I'm not. I'm going to sell my van. You're selling this beautiful van? Yes. With the skylight and everything? Yes. Oh my goodness. So, if someone wanted to, let's just say some of my viewers are looking at this van saying they would love a van like this, how would they reach you? By email at lightleon hunt at gmail.com and how do you spell that l-i-g-h-t l-e-o-n h-u-n-t okay well you know what how about we close this out do you have some music that we could hear yeah i do well how about we close this out with some of your music cool and saying goodbye to meku maku maku close Okay. And if anybody's interested in the guy that built most of this, uh -huh. he is now located in Panama City. And his Instagram is Samuel underscore coffee, which is C-O-F-F-E-Y. Okay. He's super amazing. All right. So let's hear what, let's hear if you got some chops there with the music. And we'll go on out. I know that I can get myself out of all the trouble that I got into. Third person point of view, always fused with the first two. A refusal to tune to the everyday mood. I just landed from a trip, marijuana, keep me checked. Places going miles lost, pay the cost, that's a toss all alone in my home.